Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting a failure to configure Windows updates and maybe it's reverting back to the original state of your updates before you tried or attempted to update your computer. So this tutorial will apply for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 devices. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu here and you want to type in folder options best match should say file explorer options here you want to left click on it one time to open it up now you want to go up to the view tab at the top by left clicking on it one time and then underneath hidden files and folders you want to select where it says show hidden files folders and drives and then click on apply and ok now you want to open up the start menu and type in services you want to right click on the best match which should hopefully say services here and then left click on Res administrator now you want to go down until you get to background intelligence transfer service right here and you want to right click on it left click on stop and now you want to go down until you get to windows update right here right click on it and it might already be disabled in your case. Now, the reason why we're turning it off is because we're going to be clearing out the Windows Update cache. We're not actually turning it off, so when you restart your computer, it'll go back to whatever it was before we did anything. But I just want to put that out there because we are going to have to clear the Update cache before we proceed with the video. So, without further ado, let's close out of the Services window. Go back over to the Start menu, and you want to type in Computer. On Windows 10, if you type that in, it might say this PC. Just open that up. And now you want to go underneath whatever disk Windows is installed on. It should say local disk, and there should be a letter in parentheses right next to it, and a little Windows icon right above the hard disk. So you want to open that up by double clicking on it twice. You want to open that up by clicking on it twice. And now you want to go underneath the Windows folder, so double click on that. Now you want to go down to get to software distribution right here. Double click. And now anything listed in here, you want to highlight over, right click, and then select delete from this context list. Once you've deleted everything out of here, I would recommend that you restart your computer and see if that resolves your issue. If that does not resolve the issue, I'd recommend heading over to a web browser here. And I might have a link in the description of the video for this, but I'm just going to type in troubleshoot Windows Update Toolkit. Windows Update, fix it. And I'm going to search that up. There should be a Microsoft domain here that says Windows Update Troubleshooter, which I'm going to open up right here. And again, depending on what version of Windows you're running, there's going to be a little bit of a different version. I'm going to select the one for Windows 10, so I'm just going to select the first one here. Click on the link or the application. Close out of the web browser. I'm going to run this troubleshooting utility. It should take a couple moments to run here and I would recommend letting you troubleshoot as administrator as well and selecting next again you can read into this a little bit more as you go along but there really shouldn't be any harmful or negative repercussions from doing this so I just want to put that out there but it's going to be completely in your benefit to run this if you're still experiencing problems Okay, so we can see it does actually recommend the fix here. I'm going to skip it 
just for the sake of time here, but if there are any things that Windows Update suggests, I'd recommend applying them. But I'm going to just select Skip This Fix, and that's probably going to wrap it up in a couple of seconds here as well. So I just want to give you guys a full idea of the walkthrough process for this. And we can see the only thing that it detected was the one thing that I did not want to resolve, but that was just, again, for the sake of time, it would have been able to automatically repair it. And again, I would recommend restarting your computer after this step as well, and, and that should resolve your issue. And I would recommend going back into folder options and changing your view by settings back to hidden. Again, that's optional, but just if you wanted to kind of have it back to how it was before a little bit, it doesn't really harm anything either way. I just want to put that out there. But as always, I hope you guys were able to benefit from this tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.